Hi, beauties and curls. It's Melissa Q again. And if you're new, I just want to welcome you and say what's up. Hi, dolls and gents. Today we are talking about Game of Tones. If you have not subscribed, I can wait. So don't forget to hit the subscribe button and also the notifications. I do currently post videos every Tuesday, Friday, and Sunday, but I've been giving out some bonuses. Yes, we have um, a back to school giveaway going on and yeah, you're going to see some more collabs. I'm so excited. Let's just jump right into the game of tones. Anybody else obsessed with the game of thrones? Obviously, I got some inspiration from the game of tones and I also got some inspiration from my deuce videos. So this is kind of like a special of that and it is can I do that I'm going into my collection seeing if I have something similar and if I can I am banking that money into the hashtag let's save 10k so let's just jump right in yeah and don't forget to subscribe before you leave so these are items by the way in the game of tones products that I've always wanted to purchase or new makeup that I want to purchase and basically just stopping the impulse checking to see if I already have it in my collection something like it and saying if it will appease the urge at the same time banking the money if I can get either get the look or get some inspo from that look or if it reminds me of that product then I bank the money that I would have spent on the new item hope that makes sense so in light of that, I am going to talk about a product that's controversial. I have been wanting the Natasha Denona Sunset Palette. The first moment I saw it came out, I was like, that belongs to me. I just can't get everything, okay? And Natasha, Natasha, you making it in, uh, Tasha. But see, that's what we would call it, Natasha. Natasha, you making it really hard for a girl, okay? And this has very high ratings. Let me just say something, I swatch some Natasha Denona palette at the makeup show and they are phenomenal let's just get that out of the let's just clear the air okay and by the way anything that I'm talking about nine times out of ten I have already gone into Ulta and Sephora and swatched it and thought about it and because I want to talk about formulation to you guys too this is just making an informed decision now I'm not saying that you know don't go buy it you know I just have quite a few palettes I wanted to add Natasha to the family okay but I need to start like interviewing people that want to be adopted it retails for $129 and it has 15 shades in it and it is comprised of matte duochrome metallic and chroma crystal finishes they are absolutely beautiful okay now it is without parabens sulfates and phthalates I think I said that correctly but y'all Ooh. I know that a lot of people talk about $129 is a lot of money. Yes, it is at one time. So $129, I would have paid this. You know, obviously it's in my cart. And let me know. I think next time I want to make this more interesting. So definitely put your comments. Let me know some ways to make this more interesting. I love this, but I want to be a little bit more creative with the game of tones. But let me know if you guys want to see what's in my cart and then go in my collection. That kind of like is the thought process that I have for this video anyway. But y'all, a brand saved me. Yes, I just recently acquired this and it is the Yes Please palette by ColourPop. So the blendability of these mattes are absolutely fabulous. I love how like these are so pigmented and I just dipped my hands in it. They are phenomenal. So <sighs> ColourPop $16 just saved me $129. So I'm going to have to put that in the bank. I know it's sad. It's bittersweet that I couldn't buy the pot palette because I really wanted it. But I feel like this is appeasing of my urge and yes now I did talk about some other warm tone palettes because the naked heat palette is out so I highly encourage you if you want to see any more warm tone palettes you can check that video out but this one is so close so many people have done dupes videos on this and I was so excited when I saw this that and even when I purchased it that um, yeah 
this is simply amazing and like i said this looks so much like the natasha denona palette it's crazy yes and this one actually has this one doesn't have as many this has 12 versus the 15 so okay three shadows less and like I said, these are products that I'm not bashing. As a matter of fact, I was going to buy them. So yes, I just banked $129 in addition to the $54 that was there from the Naked Heat palette. This is how we're going to get to 10 k y'all. If I can dupe it or I can kind of like get the look. Because that's a lot of times I get my inspo off of Instagram, here off of YouTube, and I usually see a look that I want to get some inspiration. As you can tell, you can always justify a purchase, but this is really making me step back and letting me see that I really have this already in my collection. So obvious, I think that was kind of obvious. Yeah, that I was going to do that one. But thanks so much for watching, you guys. And like I said, every Sunday, we're going to come with another item in the game of tones. Let me know what's in your collection that you have duped, that you have found that's very similar to makeup that's going on that's happening right now. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And I will see you next Sunday in the game of tones. Bye, guys.